Uterine Manipulators Simplified Features, Assembly, and Technique Part 2 The V-Care, Delineator, and Clear View The authors have no disclosures. Uterine manipulators are essential tools in minimally invasive gynecologic surgery, allowing for optimal visualization and manipulation of the uterus during procedures such as laparoscopic hysterectomy, myomectomy, and endometriosis resection. In the U.S. market, there are several leading brands of uterine manipulators, each offering unique features to enhance surgical outcomes. This video will focus on three in particular, the V-Care by ConMed, the Delineator by Cooper Surgical, and the Clearview by LabOri. Let's start with examining the V-Care. Benefits of the V-Care include that it combines uterine manipulation and colpotomy in one device, and that it is easy to use with minimal assembly required. A tenaculum on the cervix may help with insertion. It also has chromopertubation capabilities. Downsides include its single-use nature and the fixed size of its blue cup may not fit all patients optimally. To begin, we sound the uterus. Next, we insert the V-care through the cervix to the previously measured depth. Next, we inflate the balloon. This inflation keeps the device from sliding back out through the cervix. We hub the green cup around the cervix and slide the blue cup to be flush with the green cup. There are multiple sizes of green cup for different size services. We then advance the locking device and twist to lock it in place. Moving the device downwards moves the uterus anteriorly, and moving the device upwards moves the uterus posteriorly. Twisting clockwise rotates the uterus to the patient's left, while twisting counterclockwise rotates the uterus to the patient's right. Although moving your hand to the opposite side may allow for a further lateral displacement. To remove the V-care, unlock the device, deflate the balloon, and draw back the entire device. Once the device has been removed, the uterus can then be grasped and removed. Next, let's examine the delineator. Benefits of the delineator include, it provides clear delineation of the vaginal fornices, which is particularly useful for colpotomy. It also has an integrated balloon to maintain pneumo occlusion during colpotomy. Last, it features the availability of a compatible uterine positioning system, the Ally and Ally 2.0, to hold the manipulator in place during surgery. Downsides of the delineator include that it can be challenging to place in patients with a narrow vaginal canal and its single-use nature. It also lacks a chromoperturbation channel. The pneumo occluder balloon is typically packaged with the removable balloon already on the device. We then sound the uterus. To insert the device, we advance the tip to the previously measured depth of the uterus. We then inflate the uterine balloon. Next, we hub the blue cup around the cervix. Once this is in place, we lock the device. Finally, we inflate the vaginal balloon. Twisting counterclockwise rotates the uterus to the patient's right, while twisting clockwise rotates the uterus to the patient's left. Although moving your hand to the opposite side may allow for a further lateral displacement, dropping your hand will antivert the uterus and elevating your hand will retrovert the uterus. To remove the device, deflate both balloons. Unlock the device. Slide out the cup and remove the delineator. We can then grasp and remove the uterus. Finally, we will reinsert and inflate the vaginal balloon in order to maintain pneumoperitoneum. Next, let's examine the Clearview device. 
Benefits of the Clearview include its ability for chromoperturbation and its affordability. Kits come with or without colpotomy cups depending on procedural needs. The kit with the colpotomy cups are known as Clearview Total. Downsides include its single-use nature and its limited versatility and range of motion that limit its capacity for manipulation in complex hysterectomies. To begin, we sound the uterus. To place the device, we hub the device at the cervix. Once the device is inserted, we inflate the uterine balloon. The clear view has two balloons, one blue-tipped and one clear-tipped. The blue tip will inflate the uterine balloon, while the clear tip can be used for chromoperturbation. For chromoperturbation, we insert methylene blue through the clear tip. The methylene blue is inserted into the uterus and will backflow out of an open fallopian tube into the abdomen. If blue dye is seen laparoscopically, we know there is patency of the fallopian tube. To use the clear view for manipulation, we rotate the handle. Rotating the handle to the right antiverts the uterus. Rotating to the left retroverts the uterus. Moving the entire handle to the operator's left moves the uterus to the patient's left. Moving the entire handle to the operator's right moves the uterus to the patient's right. To remove the device, we deflate the uterine balloon using the blue tip and then withdraw the device. Thank you for watching.